हेलो एंड नमस्कार इंस्टाफैम आई एम शिल्पा मॉडरेटर फॉर दिस सेशन वेल आई एम वेटिंग फॉर फ्यू मोर पीपल टू जॉइन इन फॉर द सेशन एंड देन आई एल बिगिन सो टुडे वी विल हैव अ स्नीक पीक इन टू द लाइफ ऑफ अ स्टूडेंट एट द फैकल्टी ऑफ मैनेजमेंट स्टडीज इन डेली एंड आर एजेंडा फॉर टूडे सेशन इज अ डे इन द लाइफ ऑफ अ एफ एम एस स्टूडेंट वाई चूज एफ एम एस को करिकुलर एक्टिविटीज द बैलेंस बिटवीन पर्सनल एंड कॉलेज लाइफ फी एंड स्कॉलरशिप समर इंटर्नशिप प्लेसमेंट एंड अदर अपॉर्चुनिटीज एट एफ एम एस नाउ लेट मी एड आर टूडे इज गेस्ट टू द कॉन्वर्जेशन एंड मीन वाइल इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू आर टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन फ्री टू शेयर इट इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन और इन द क्यू एन ए सेक्शन and i will try my level best to take all your questions and get it answered by our today's guest <clears throat> well Hi. here she is we have onanchila kichu with us i heartily welcome you onanchila hi shobha how are you i am good how are you doing i'm good to shobha now we both are hoping and we everybody is hoping to have a great session with you i'm really so uh, yes So let's begin with your introduction and your educational journey to FMS. Okay. So uh, hi everyone. I'm Onin Chila. I am from the Lenox Festival. Uh, talking about my background, uh, I did a Bachelor of Science in Economics, Maths and Statistics, and in my final year, I converted CAD and I cleared seven, uh, seventeen IIMs, and finally decided to join FMS Delhi. Uh, after joining FMS Delhi, I interned in two companies: one Mars Weekly and another company Axis Bank uh, during my summers. Um, currently, I am the head of comedy club and also an uh, executive member at Media uh, Media Relations Sales uh, Sales at FMS Delhi. Thank you, Onen, for that brief introduction. Uh, I have a follow-up question on what you said. You just gave your introduction. but how fms entered in your life and why you choose fms only okay so i think everybody has their own reasons but my main reason was that uh uh i didn't want to live with a burden of loans that's one thing and i just graduated so since i got fms at a very low uh, cost i just because of that and secondly i always wanted to move to delhi because of the culture the food and For me, education is all about all around development, right? So, uh, if if you look at the IIMs, they are they are away from the cities and everything. And I wanted that life, since FMS was offering that. So I chose FMS. Very simple reason, but that was like very important for me at that moment. So that's why I chose FMS. Okay, fair enough. We just got it. We just wanted to have a cultural uh, experience. and that's the first reason for you to uh, come to delhi okay and one more request on anchila i think you are holding up your headphones so uh, please don't hold it because we cannot hear you properly yeah okay. just just let it be yeah and next up the moment we open up the registration for your session we have received a set of several questions from the students so i'll just start picking up one uh g amandeep kumar das He wants to ask you how to get into FMS Delhi and how to clear entrance exam and personal interview round. So, any tips on that? Okay, so the only way you can get into FMS for a student from India is through CAD, and then people who are applying from foreign uh, foreign countries to give GMAT. So the first step is CAD, and then if you get a short list, you have to interview, uh, which consists of X number, which consists of. Uh, discussion on your statement of purposes so if you talk about how you can get the shortlist it's a uh, true composite score so in the composite score we have like five components first uh, cat score which comprises of 15 per, uh, 50% of it secondly we have plus 10 score which comprises of 10% plus of 10% and the best thing about fms is that uh, i want to mention this i didn't have a very good score in graduation but fms uh, give no marks on graduation so that was a win situation for me and then thirdly there's discussion on statement of purpose so when you fill up the form for fms delhi uh, they'll tell you to fill uh, a short form which is like 100 words for statement of purpose why you want to apply for fms because fms uh, the faculty are looking for people who genuinely wants to study in fms and then 
uh, just not go in with because we have we have like very high packages and stuff like that. So discussion of the statement of purpose is very important, uh, which comprises of ten person, and then fourthly we have the extemper. Which uh, extemper? They'll give you any random topic. It can be like your graduation uh, subjects. It can be about where uh, where you belong. Uh, the the topic for me was uh, the beauty of Nagaland, and that was my extemper topic. And then fifthly, there's a personal interview. Uh, the personal interview interview comprises of uh, about your college, your internship, whatever you have mentioned in the form. They're asking on that, and it comprises of fifteen percent. So that's how you get a short list, and that's how you can go forward with FMS. Uh, though you have already covered this question, the next step I was about to ask you, Jeevratan has this question: What is the okay. interview process? FMS like, do you have any more guidance on this, or any more pointers, if a person who is preparing for FMS or something like that? Okay, so in my time, the interview process was completely online. So, so okay, so to start off, uh, I want to mention to the interview to get a shot for an interview. Uh, there's this composite score, right? So if you are among the top people, you get an interview slot. So my in my time it was online, but these days it, it turned offline. So in, the entire uh, interview processes was done offline uh, by the faculty. So, so that's what that's how it is. And then uh, if you get good scores in the interview processes, there are lists. So there's first list, and then people join in. People who don't join in, you give second list, third list, and then this year it went up to fourteen list. So I can see many people are sending requests to join in this session. But unfortunately, I cannot join any of you. But if you have any questions, we have two options here. Either you can just send your questions in the comment section or in the Q and A section, and we will feel glad to take the questions you want to ask on Enchila. Okay. Uh, moving ahead, Gopi Chandu has this question. Tell us about the fees and scholarship available at FMS. Um, <clears throat> our fees is around two point five lakhs, which comprises of. A college fees as well as MSA. So, what is MSA? So, it's Management Science Association. It's a so FMS is a student-run campus, right? The entire uh, induction, the induction that we organize for people who are incoming, bad convocation, everything is managed by the student union. So, we also pay a certain amount for that. So, entire uh, fees is around two point five lakhs, which is a very good ROI. And also, we don't have any specific scholarships. But there's one scholarship for SC and ST students, and then uh, there are there are students uh, who, who belong to PWT candidate. They don't pay fees, so those kind of things are there. But no specific scholarship for FMS students. Okay, thank you for answering that, on Anchila. Uh, next up, many students are curious to know about the co-curricular activities and cultural fest at FMS. Okay. So we have Fiesta, which is one of the best uh, uh, cultural fest in uh, around uh, India. And then there we have Fiesta. And then the thing about FMS is that we have a lot of clubs starting from comedy club, the cooking club, the uh, art club, the movie club, and everything. So I think even if uh, honestly, even if we don't have a big uh, campus, but the activities that we do bring all of us really uh, closely together. And also talking about curricular activities, recently uh, we had a match with IMI and IFT Delhi, a basketball match. So all these sorts of things happens around uh, here and there. And also since FMS is a part of Delhi University, we get to participate in all these events organized by the Delhi University and also the MBA colleges nearby and around. Uh, we always have friendly matches. And there is also another event coming up in February that is in IIM Lucknow where we'll be uh, having sports and all these cultural events. Thank you for sharing some insight on cultural events. A uh, few comments I can see. Uh, just my own thing is this session is all about FMS. Yes, of course, this session is about FMS only. So if you have any questions or any curiosity to know more about FMS, feel free to share your questions. And uh, rest is it's Karan Mishra. Okay, what's package name FMS? Okay, uh, Karan, your question isn't clear to us, so I would request you to just rephrase it and send again, or you can just comment again. Uh, moving ahead, uh, next up we have a question from Yogesh. Okay. How does a day in FMS look alike? 
how does uh, this college particularly let you balance college and personal life okay all about you yeah so uh for me and then at then fms would be so we have like we choose our own electives and majors right so we have different schedules for that so whenever i get free time we have this music room i'm very into music so i go to the music room jam along with people who are there in the music room and then we also have a basketball court where we play so okay i'll just keep it like this so i go to college at then classes during free time i go to the music room to lay with the uh, people who uh, like minded people about music and then i go to the basketball court i play basketball and then when my next session starts i go back again and then i think fms gives a very balanced life even if uh, after classes since all most of us live in flats we always uh, find a reason to meet each other so the best thing about assignments is that professors allow us in different groups so we all always work collaborate uh, in a, in collaboration so we meet up we work get the work done also and also talk about life have fun eat together cook together i think that's a very good culture about about fms so that's what a day in, day, uh, in life of fms would be for me acha i can see onanchila question in the q and a box and it's like uh, onanchila give us a sneak peek into your expenses oh sneak peek into my expenses okay yeah. i think it will it will vary from different people okay uh, so if you live in a flat the expenses would be around uh monthly expenses comes out around 25000 per month because that's a very expensive in delhi but if you go, so in fms you have an option to stay in delhi university or hostels there are around uh, 12 delhi university hostels that you can avail with very less cost so if you uh, you avail those uh, hostels i think your expenses will come around only 10 15000 but since i live in a flat my expenses comes around 25000 per month on inchula i hope even you can see some comments we have received and even i have pinned one uh, just my own thing is asking about work experience though uh, again i couldn't get your questions but uh, we can consider it is work experience required or is it even considered uh, during the personal interview or something like that does it give us any kind of priority okay so work experience we in the composite score there is no allotment of marks or work experience but uh, we have this thing uh, pi which compares a uh, personal interview which comprises of 15 person of it right so if you have worked before i think that gives you a really good edge about uh, about a very good edge to talk what you did in the past because if you have done something related to corporate in your past experiences you can have more things to talk about with the professors and then just convince them you know about and you, you know Uh, where you're getting into so i think that gives you an edge but there is no marks allotted for work experience uh if i'm correct this year we have cat examination on 27th november and uh, that's why i think yash has asked this question is one month enough to crack 99 percentile if my basics are fine mm-hmm. i mean it all comes to how strong your basics are have you i just want to ask if you have Try even mocks and everything because the best way to know yourself to know where you stand is giving mocks, right? And then uh, if you're not doing well in one paper, you can improve it. So I, I, I can't say it's. I mean, varies to different people. One month can be enough for you, but I think you should really test yourself where you are standing. Okay. I think that's important for you, Yash. So Yash, maybe you can reply in the comment of whether you are uh, up with the mocks or the PYQs. then i think onanchila can guide you better okay moving ahead uh, next up onanchila please to share some information about uh, college uh, summer internship or the exchange programs if there's any okay so talking about summer internship uh, this year we had the highest package at 4.4 lakhs and then average package of 1.5 lakhs per month uh, so talking about my experience i interned at axis bank Uh, where I work in the digital lending department, vehicle loans, and I ended up getting a BPO. And then talking about the summer 
uh, student exchange programs, we don't have anything specific to that, but there, I mean, you can always go externally if you want to go for it, uh, you can apply it. But we don't have any specific programs which FMS provides uh, to go for student, uh, student exchange programs. So, Anjula, you were saying that uh, you got the opportunity to intern with Axis Bank, right? So, how did you prepare for it? Because I'm sure there must be some interview uh, yes. before getting into Axis, right? How did you clear it? How did you prepare for it? So, uh, my preparation uh, started off by studying about the banking sector a lot. Because, I mean, I did economics, which gave me an edge uh, for an interview. And then the entire preparation was all about how well I know I know myself and how well I I can explain the things that I did in the past. And then I remember the interviewer asking me, how can you, so I'm a state level basketballer. So they asked me, how can you connect economics, banking and access bank together? And that was a very good question that I was asked. So what happens in summer internship is that you just really want to know you as a person. And that's one thing. And second thing, that they're looking for people who are very enthusiastic to work. So I tried my best to improve in, uh, on those lines and that's how I got into Access Bank. Thank you, Anjula, for answering that. Uh, I hope you can see a comment there. Uh, mm -hmm. Sayam has commented how much composite score is required uh, after everything is considered. Do you have any idea on it? Otherwise, we can skip it. Uh, to give a basic idea, the composite score is very variable. Depends on the number of people who apply and how much they have scored, right? And it also depends on the category that you belong to. So it will vary, but it's always safe to give your best in this upcoming get examination, get, get the highest score that you can, and then just wait and see if you get a shot for it or not. Because at the end of the day, it's all about giving your best and having no regrets, right? Even if you get a short list or not. So just give your best uh, in the upcoming examination. Because it's okay. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Thank you. And uh, now we are receiving requests uh, from the student to share some information on campus life. Okay. Uh, campus life. Maybe all you can do share your experience. Okay. So... Uh, I joined FMS right after uh, right after graduation, during my final year of graduation. One year it was completely online. I moved to FMS. And then in FMS, you always have something to do. Okay. So uh, for me, I joined two clubs. That's Comedy Club and Media Cell. Media Cell, which uh, take care of the, the entire admission processes, right? So I was always engaged in that. And then for comedy club, we always organize improv, all these fun events. There are drama clubs which organize events. So you always have something to do. And then I think the campus life is pretty good. We, all, we celebrated Diwali recently at campus with professors and then diet two batches. And then the campus life, I think the best part about FMS is that we have a very collaborative environment. So we help juniors to get placed during the summer processes. Now that it's over, juniors are helping us to get placed in the final processes by clearing our concepts, by taking mock PIs, by solving cases together. So we have a very collaborative environment. So I think that's the best part about FMS campus, like how we help each other. And we are like a family, honestly, we are like a family. So that's the best thing about FMS. And we just know each other because they are very less students, right? So we can like, for example, I'm from a very, I'm from a non-engineer background. So when I have like thoughts about IDs or supply chain, I, I have always someone to go to and ask them. And if they want to know about economics, if they want to know about uh, more about statistics, I'm there for them. So that's the environment that we have in FMS and we just support each other. Uh, the next up, I want to ask a question, though I have got a, you know, a sense of it, but I want to go more in depth and want to understand about the learning environment of FMS. Okay. So if I'll give you two options, whether it's competitive or collaborative, what would you say? It will, it's definitely collaborative. And why did you say that? So, okay. 
so I'll just give you an example. So we are given a lot of assignments, right? And then not everyone is fine. So when we do assignments, if you are not well, there are people who are willing to back you up. And then collaborative, second thing, I told you, right, like how we help each other and how we collaboratively place a junior place, place in the senior batch and a senior place, place in the junior batch. I think that this is a very good idea of how collaborative uh, the environment of FMS is. Fair enough. I understood. I hope the rest of the people have also understood. And uh, next up, we have a question from Jayshri. And okay. she is asking, does FMS has equitable power as IAM? Very commonly mm -hmm. asked question. Yeah. In terms of brand image, I, I won't say FMS do not have a brand image. We have a brand image. But uh, they have an edge. But people in corporates and everyone, they know about FMS. And I think the summer placement, uh, the metric shows enough about how careful FMS is. So... We shouldn't be comparing, I think, that's what I feel, because every cam campus has its, uh, has its own offering, sorry. so Right. Uh, because uh, all these organizations, all these institutions comes under our umbrella term of top B school, right? Mm -hmm. So, again, any of it, it's completely fine. Uh, rest, if you could just share more guidance on uh, how are the placement opportunities at FMS. Okay. Uh, you can also tell us about the high or the low salary package students have received. Yeah. Okay. So talking about the final placements last year, we had the highest package at uh, 58 lakhs per annum. And then the average is average at 32.5 lakhs per annum. And then we have all these big uh, companies coming like McKinsey, BCG, and then if you talk about marketing, Mars, uh, Nestle, Dover, Beauty Light, all these uh, all these companies comes, and then the best thing about it, so people think FMS is a marketing campus. It is a marketing campus, but also we get we got the highest offer from consulting and strategy strategy companies, which was around twenty seven percent of it. So I think uh, we have a uh, very good company lined up for us, and that's how we produce a very good placements uh, this year. Next up, I'll just share my personal experience. When I was in college, I was mm. quite hesitant to approach my faculty members. Mm. So uh, even, you know, uh, many students are curious to know about it. Even I'm curious to know about it. How are the student faculty interaction at FMS? Okay. So uh, since we have this one, uh, so we have two campuses. There is one in North and one in South campus. But most of the okay. professors, they stay in the North campus itself. So we have around 30 professors and then a lot of uh, guest faculties, but permanently 20 faculties. I think, uh, so I, I had a conversation with Garida ma'am, and then she was telling how the professors are just willing to force, the, are just standing there like welcoming students with open arms, come talk to us. So I think the professors make themselves uh, free for us. Whenever we have a doubt, we can like easily go to the agenda and just talk it out. And then the best thing about FMS faculty is that we just don't talk about studies. We just don't talk about MBA. We, we also share them about our life. And then I think that's really beautiful about faculty. So we have a very okay. student faculty interaction. I think that uh, faculty and student experience isn't scary like <laughs> rest of the colleges. And <laughs> that's quite a plausible, I would say. And then, <laughs> okay. uh, yeah. Yeah, and then uh, the best thing about our faculty is that they are willing to learn from us too. So it's like win-win situation for both. The, I mean, faculties are so much more experienced than us, but it's like a win-win situation. They learn from us. We learn from him. We learn from them. So they always emphasize on like making this a learning environment for both the faculty as well as the students. And that's a really good thing about FMS. That's the two-way communication, right? Yes. Okay. Understood that. Uh, Oranchala, I have kept this platform open to everybody so that they can raise their question. Uh, I can see a question, caring, sharing has a question. Do you think missing out on the campus element affects the engagement at FMS? If you get any points or, uh, or something like that to discuss on it, then we can. Okay. Because for me, the question isn't clear. 
Okay, I, I'll just answer what I understood from it. So, okay, so let's talk about, yeah. So FMS, we do not have a residential campus. That's one thing that, that's there. But living in a flat, like doing whatever we want, like giving this open space to just build, not in terms of MB and studies, so we just give this environment to focus on yourself, have a personal life for yourself. And then when you go to college, you meet them, right? You don't have, like, you just give this platform where your life shouldn't be revolving around FMS only. So I think that's the best thing about uh, living away from the campus. Like, some people will have a different view on it, but I think living away from campus, we can have a personal life of our own. And then when you go back to campus, you have that life that you always worked hard for. So I think that's a very good element for me. Okay. Thank you, Anantula, for answering that question. Uh, next up, I was reading more about FMS, and mm -hmm. I got to know that uh, there's an alumni meet and networking yes. process which happens. And even there are certain events which take place. So can you just put some light on it? Okay. What exactly? Yeah. So the alumni meet is uh, organized by the alumni relations cell. It's a club in FMS study. So we have these different chapters. So recently we had Dubai CD meet. And then we, we also have like Mumbai CD meet, Bangalore CD meet, Hyderabad CD meet, Delhi CD meet. So where all the alumni of FMS and the current students can join. So those kind of uh, opportunities are given to connect with each other support each other, just talk about anything, talk about FMS. And also, uh, currently, uh, the Alumni Relations Society also organized dinners for us for the current two pages. Recently, we had one uh, where all the alumni came together and we got to interact with them. And, and I think those kind of uh, platform opportunities that are opened up by the Alumni Relations still is, a, is a very amazing thing. And then we just, see our future like when we see our alumni we just see their oh, oh my god i think i'll also be there a few year, years down the line and then we ask them about how we are so successful and how we can also be like them we can also be better than them or how uh, the corporate life can be easier for us so Angela, do uh, fms student also get opportunity to have a again sneak peek into some internal job opportunities because FMS alumni are already doing great all mm -hmm. across the world. So yeah. do you guys get this benefit? Yes. So, okay. So there's one policy we can't do internship when we are studying, but there's also one thing we can do life projects. So life projects are floated by our alumni or even if other companies also float life projects like KPMG, Mars, and all these companies floated life projects last year. So the edge that we get from our alumni is that um, they are very startups, right? So they're, they, they are not looking for full time, but they just ask for a few hours, three, four hours per day, and they pay us handsomely. So all these life projects are mo mostly floated by our alumni who have starters who are in different companies and that's how even if we are doing MBA that's how we that's how we can work for different companies too and I think that experience really gives us a uh, better understanding how the corporate life really works right especially for a fresher and I think that's very important. Okay. And for the viewers, we have five to 10 minutes more for this session to wind up. Uh, so if you have any questions, just feel free to post your questions because I'll be taking questions one by one. Uh, I have pinned a comment, Panic Whiskey Scream Girl. Okay, this is the count name. What mm -hmm. sports opportunity do we get in FMS? Okay, um, sports opportunities. In terms of opportunities, there are like in their college, in their MBA colleges, events that you can participate in. But there's always stores open where you can just go play uh, with the rest of the people. I, I don't think there are like very big opportunities given for sports, but uh, the store is always open to practice, play with the fellow uh, uh, like-minded people about sports. 
Uh, Riyansh, we have already discussed about uh, comparison between FMS and IAM. So I would request you to just go through this video again because this video will be posted on Siksha's Instagram after this live session. So you can just easily go through it. Uh, next up, I have pinned the comment again. What kind of opportunities are there for live projects? Question from Navaru. Okay. Navaru. Yeah. Hi, Nova. Um, the live projects are usually like we give live projects in all the domains you want. So last year, I did a live project with Mars, which was about uh, which where I work as a social media manager for them. So when live projects are uploaded, we choose the domain that we want, and then that's how we get. Uh, life projects and different companies in different domains that you prefer and also the opening for the same. Okay, so I hope Nova has got the answer of uh, her, his question. Uh, next up, uh, if you could just share some do's and don'ts for the newcomer at FMS because the next year will again have a new batch. So what would your guidance to them? I think <clears throat> the upcoming batch should keep their gum. So the thing is that you met in FMS and that's a very big thing, right? So you're going to be successful. You just have to believe in yourself. Sometimes you feel overwhelmed because there are so many people with very good profiles, but at the end of the day, you should be focusing on yourself. Know where you are bad at. Invest there instead of comparing yourself with people. So what happens in all these big schools is that we started comparing, right? because everyone is equally smart, everyone is intelligent, everyone is hardworking. But the only thing that I want to say is that focus on yourself and then see how you can be better. So that's what, that's an advice that I want to give to all the upcoming students. Okay, and I hope this guidance will certainly help to the viewers if you are planning to just come to FMS next year. Uh, the last question for this session. Mm -hmm. FMS, the red building of dreams. How much do you agree with this? I think I agree wholeheartedly because my life completely changed after FMS. So after graduation, I was a little worried where I'll be standing in the next two, three, four years. But after joining FMS, I have a clear picture where I want to be. And then, so when I was working in Access Bank, the brand FMS has such a huge value. People. Even if I didn't have experience, I was just a fresher, but people were like asking me things. He considered me to know a lot of things, which I tried my best to know as well as uh, share my knowledge too. And so the kind of assurity that, you know, in terms of finance too, honestly, you, you are hundred percent sure you'll get a good placement. I think that's something that's really good for your peace of mind. Uh, in terms of financial stability. And then secondly, uh, with brand FMS, companies recognize you. So I think that gives you an edge uh, in the corporate world. So with FMS, I think if you join FMS, I think you'll, ha you'll have a long way to go in your corporate career. Thank you, Anantila, for your time and answering all the questions and clearing out all doubts. Thank you. And thank you to the viewers for being with us and asking relevant questions. And uh, uh, Siksha will come up with new sessions soon. So keep checking Siksha website, www.siksha.com for more updates on the next session. And this video will be available on Siksha Instagram in a while uh, so that you can just go back and look at the points on Enchila is already shared if in case you have missed out on any. And with this, I'm Shilpa signing off. Till then, take care and keep dreaming high. Thank okay. you.